Hi, I'm Dan from MacPEHub.com, and here are your top three private equity stories for today, Tuesday, December 11th, 2007. Top story today is about a firm that used to be part of a bank, then wasn't part of a bank, and now is part of a bank again. It's called Metalmark Capital, a mid-market firm based in New York City. Now, Metalmark used to be known as Morgan Stanley Capital Partners. Its investors got paid by the bank, its profits went to the bank, and its initial capital came from the bank. But about three years ago, Metalmark spun out independently and became Metalmark. There was two reasons for it. First, its partners wanted more autonomy and wanted a greater part of the profits. Two, and equally important, Morgan Stanley didn't like the conflicts of interest that the group was starting to create for it. And it wasn't alone. Lots of banks felt these conflicts. After all, if you have an advisory client, what happens if they conflict with the private equity group which is trying to do a deal with that advisory client? So they let them spin off independently. Yesterday, however, Metalmark announced that it's going to go back under a banking umbrella, but not Morgan Stanley. It's going with Citi, becoming a so-called investment center within Citi Alternative Investments. It's an interesting move, particularly considering that it shows that banks no longer seem to be worried about the conflicts of interest. Citi never gave up its private equity group, and Morgan Stanley has actually re recreated its private equity group, albeit not with the Metalmark folks. As an interesting side note to this, the Metalmark deal indicates to some people that Vikram Pandit is most likely going to succeed Chuck Prince as CEO of Citi, given that he also is a Morgan Stanley alum. Second story is from the pharma world. Something called Oncomed Pharmaceuticals, a venture capital-backed company, has signed a collaboration deal with GlaxoSmithKline that could be worth up to $1.4 billion, plus an undisclosed cash payment up front and the possibility for Glaxo to participate in Oncomed's IPO, should there be one. Now, Oncomed's a fascinating company I first wrote about two years ago. It targets what it calls cancer stem cells. Now, like real stem cells, the, what cancer stem cells do is they can replicate, they can reproduce. Unlike so-called normal stem cells, they don't create organs or blood. They create cancer. They were first identified earlier in the decade at the University of Michigan, and Oncomed believes that it can target these cancer stem cells, which among other things create solid tumors, and destroy them. And that's what this deal is doing. GlaxoSmithKline is going to give them money, going to give them help, and ultimately hope to profit off this revolutionary pharma technology. It's worth noting, though, that we are nowhere near commercialization of cancer stem cell therapies. When the company was starting two years ago, its CEO told me it would be 2010 at the earliest that we'd see commercialization, and even at that point, it would only be for one type of cancer. It'll take longer to get to other types. Final story today shows that one bad VC deal doesn't kill a VC's career. That VC is John Auerbach, who up until last week was a partner at Highland Capital Partners here in Boston. Now, Auerbach is unfortunately best known for doing a deal called Amped Mobile, which burned through about $360 million, some of which was Highland's, some of which was other venture capital firms, and then went bankrupt earlier this year. But Auerbach quit Highland last week and went across town to Charles River Ventures, where he's going to be a partner focusing on wireless communications. Now, I asked Bruce Sachs, another CRV partner, about the AMP deal and if that, had him caught, if that caused him any reservations about bringing Auerbach on, and he said, of course not. What he said was that a venture capitalist is not expected to bat a thousand. They're expected to bat probably about three to four hundred. Moreover, a firm like CRV isn't as concerned with Auerbach losing 1x the firm's money on a particular deal, so much as they are about him making 2, 3, 4, and more x on other deals. I've been Dan Primack for PEHub.com. Make sure to check back here tomorrow morning for the next top three.